What can be big or small? Soggy, soft, hard, uneven, or even hairy? Breast. For Breast Cancer Awareness Month, let's put aside unrealistic body standards and focus on an examination that will actually support our breasts. All you need for your self-exam are eyes, hands, and well, breasts. But did you think I was gonna show the self-exam? With my female nipples? Come on, it's 2020. Can't do that. Boys. Step one, top clothes off, put your hands on your waist and take a good look at your breasts. Did it? No, not the judgy type of look. The compassionate and caring type of look that would spot any dimple, rash, redness, swelling or lumping. Check if your nipple has changed shape, if it's pointing inwards for example, and give them a little squeeze to see if any discharge comes out. Put your arms up and look for the same type of irregularities. Step two, lie down, put your hand behind your shoulder and use your free hand to examine your breast. Refrain from kneading it like fresh bread dough. Instead, with a gentle yet firm rub, use three fingers to check for any lumps or swelling. With a circular motion, make sure you cover your entire breast area starting from your armpit and ending on your nipple. Repeat on the other breast. Step three, back on your feet, use three fingers again and do the same motion. Pro tip, your fingers can run more smoothly on your skin when using moisturizer. Are you feeling things in your breast? Good. That's normal. Your breasts are made of glands and nodes and other organs that have shapes and volume. The goal of this exercise is for you to get familiar with your breasts so you can spot changes as soon as possible. So do this exercise every single month on the same day. If you have regular period, pick some time between seven to 10 days following your first day of period. If you have a regular or no period, just pick a day that's easy to remember. Thanks boys.